everybody, and today. No, 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 it's all wrong. Hello everybody, and today we'll be letting our nuts hang. So basically, if you haven't heard by now, Takashi 69 or 69 has just been attacked, kidnapped, and robbed in Brooklyn. Now, I don't really like the guy in any way, but I will say that nobody really deserves to have this happen to them. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So basically, I'm here to summarize this whole debacle as we see right now. Sources will be in the description below if you'd like to check those out. With that being said, Let's get, get right into the, into the news. So basically, here's the run now. An early Sunday morning, July 22nd, roughly 4.30 a.m. American rapper 6ix9ine is riding passenger in Brooklyn when two men holding pistols walk up to his car, assaulting 6ix9ine, taking his cell phone, then shoving him in the back seat. These men took the Skittles boy to an unknown location where he was told to call someone. They wanted an undisclosed amount of jewelry, and once they got it, the two men left, leaving 13 Comfy Daddy behind. 10 plus 3 equals 18, then walked to the nearest police station, 79th Pre Pre Precinct Station House in Bedford Stuvan Vicent to report the robbery. He then became uncooperative. Now that was the release story. TMZ initially reported something different, saying that he was in front of his house when confronted by three men before being pistol whipped and then shoved into the backseat of their car, where they threatened him before going back to the house to steal $750,000 of jewelry and somewhere between $15,000 and $20,000 in cash. Obviously, this isn't the real story because the press with the NYPD released the first story, or thereby making the first story more reliable, but hey, I thought I'd put that in there. There's also a lot of speculation that this was all a publicity stunt to help promote the Fifi song that just happened to release the same day as the kidnapping, and also features equally trash rapper Nicki Minaj. Although it is possible, I think that I'll deny that claim for now, just because there's pictures of 69 her in the hospital that make him look pretty bad, which he always looks bad, but even more so. So in the end, that's the entire story summarized. I do think that although Six is basically 18-9, isn't an amazing person or artist in the slightest. I still think it's a scary situation to be in, so share the love to him on like Twitter or something. I'd imagine that he isn't doing too well right now, I mean being kidnapped and also all of his legal issues and that outfit he wore to court. It makes for a bad combination, so just, just spread some love that way, you know? We're all humans. So just remember guys, Bibba's iffy on, Blicky's got the stiffy on. Thanks for watching. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, make sure to hit that dislike. If you did, also make sure to leave a dislike. Also, subscribe to this channel to see more content like this. Um, and anyways, that's all I have for today, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, Sorry for your loss, look at what I bought. Paint like Bob Ross, but it's not a draw. When that coin gets tossed, I don't catch no else. Wishing well, nah, fuck they blogs. They gonna have to catch up, I got too much sauce, too much sauce. I don't like that line. Fuck it, I already wrote it. I noticed you niggas seem bloated. They gas you up with a letter. You run your city like Bettis.